Hello, my name is Michael Bolkus. This is my guest, Flory Fournier. Before we return to the dramatic dog rescue, we have breaking news coming out of the Seattle Grace Hospital. There have been a reported 106 cases of methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, or known as MRSA. It's everywhere, but to that, there are two sides to the coin. Most people are asymptomatic, but others have these pus-forming wounds, these infections on their skin. And I'd love to have Flo tell me more about it. Thank you, Michael. It's an honor to be brought on. Um, I would just like to uh, readdress what Michael said. Staphylococcus aureus is um, a typical bacteria found on the skin and in the nose. Um, it's usually asymptomatic, and um, most people are probably carrying it right now. However, when the uh, bacteria develops a methicillin resistant uh, gene, that is when it becomes more serious, and that's what we found in these hospitals. Now we'll take you to Seattle Grace Hospital. We especially high precautions here at the hospital. Um, we're doing everything we can to prevent the spread of MRSA. Um, we're raising all standards of normal prevention, and we're requiring all patients, visitors, and staff to wash their hands upon exiting and entering patients' rooms. We're also ensuring that all wounds are covered and redressed uh, often, and we're washing all clothes, bedding, and towels more often than normal. Um, please practice good hygiene and don't touch open stores and or share personal items. MRSA is easily spread by touching and loves growing in moist, nutrient-rich areas. So right now, the only treatment that we found is antibiotics, but we are only used prescribing these in severe cases um, to prevent, in order to prevent resistance. So if you notice any sort of symptoms, including pus forming skin boils, don't try to lance these at home on your own. Come see us immediately because early detection is key. This just in, we found patient zero in Norwood, Ohio. So now we'll take you to Miss Sarah Figure. Well, when I was infected with MRSA, I had a huge boil on my arm and I thought it was just a spider bite because I love being out in nature, but uh, it started to pus up and it was bloody. And so I, uh, I tried to lance it myself. And um, in that process, I tried to drain it and stuff and it just wouldn't go away. So I decided to go to my doctor. So I just went to my doctor and he gave me uh, just some penicillin to take orally and then rub on there and hope it went away. And it never really went away, but I just thought, oh, it's just a scar because I was trying to pop it all the time. And then, um, it didn't go away and I, I started getting sick and I had a fever and um, I got the chills and started coughing a lot so I went and I had pneumonia and they told me that I had MRSA in my blood so um, they gave me some tetracyclines and some clindamycins to really clear it out of my system and now I'm alive. Uh, as we have found out, uh, MRSA can be a tragic hospital infection, but it can also be found community in the community as well. Um, in college dorm rooms, workplace, virtually anywhere, just because it's on the skin. Um, and there are five main C's that we have discovered to help prevent the spread of MRSA in the community. One is crowding. We want to prevent um, crowding, crowding of people. Two is contact. Try to limit the skin-to-skin -skin contact between people. Three is um, keep compromised skin covered completely. Um, and four, prevent touching contaminated surfaces. And lastly, cleanliness. Make sure you're clean and you'll prevent the, or the spread of MRSA.